Hello there everybody, my name is Orosh and this is the first episode of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Which is an amazing game in my opinion, I really fucking loved it And uh... One of the coolest things is that also it's the first game ever that I made Which at first I made gameplay and such out of So... Yeah, also I don't have the save file of the... When I was playing in the gameplay and such, so I don't have all of that stuff because the game didn't allow me to have two save files, so I needed to delete the old one and now we're making like starting the game from the beginning. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty fine. There were some signs, I didn't read them. And I forgot about the opening of this game. Forgot that it was kinda weird. Just another day in the war without end. Utter heaven. Just another day. Whatever. What's this? A tape. Also, this game was this uh, month PS Plus. I'm playing this. Wait, what, what's today? Uh, the 5th of October. So, if for example you see this game in, I don't know, 2018, then you know I made it fucking three months ago. So, you see, I. I really, most of my videos that are on the channel are really fucking old. Uh, what? If you're gonna tell me this song is copyrighted and I will have to delete it, then screw you, game. Hideo Kojima game. Get it? Well, don't worry, if you forgot who made this game, then Kojima will be sure to fucking remind you. A lot of times. Am I in heaven? Am I in other heaven? Oh god, what was that? Oh my, that's my eye. I only have one eye. Oh wait, that's actually true. I only have one eye. Well, I guess that's accurate. Jay Tavari. Christopher Randolph. Such face. Oh, the man who sold the world. James Horan. Please, anybody, I hear weird voices in my head singing. Christos, Lori Allen, are those voice actors? Or just more important people who made it? Vanessa Marshall. Time with Winters. What? Tara Strong. Is there someone named Time Winters? It's a fucking cool name. I think. Unless he got bullied in school for having named Time. I was like, hey, what time is it? <laughs> and they were like, it's cunt time, lol, lol. Hello, the nurse. Nice boobies. Can I touch? I think I have my... My fucking senses back. I need to touch something quick. Your boobs, they are the closest. Yo, what up? What do I have? Fucking scope in my eye? It's like... Fucking sniper rifle in my eye. What is going Oh, I get it. It wasn't in my head. It was in the radio. Good to know. Hello. Oh, you brought me flowers? Ah. Uh, what occasion you brought me flowers? I think I'm in love. Wait, don't leave me alone. Please. Please, I, I need help. Hello. Oh god. What? I don't understand British. What did you say to me? Are we in Britain? Because I think I saw a British flag on the wall. White snake, let me turn around. I want to see. Now, what did you do, snake? You're so fucking great with women. She just walked up to him and he was probably like, Where's Metal Gear? Some shit like that. And she was like, Oh, God! 
I don't know, leave me alone. V has come to. As a perfectionist, I cannot. I don't understand why did they made Phantom Pain a little bit to the left. Like it's it's not straight. What is going on? Also, you I guess it says Metal Gear Solid, v, the Phantom Pepin, because you see the I and the D make like a bigger P, so it's like the Phantom Pepin. Press options buttons. All right, start the game. Why not? I was going to finish the whole series right here, but since they let me start the game. Also, I was going to record this game yesterday, but the game was installing fucking game data and it took all day. So when I it finally downloaded, I get installed, it was already too fucking late. Prologue Awakening. What did you say? Did I accidentally chose a different language? Can you hear me? What? I don't know what you just said. You There's the British flag. Speaking? Can you move your head? What? No, I can't. Unfortunately. Just nod if you can hear me. Yes. I can. You know what else I can? I can stop Metal Look Gear. Up, please. Okay. Oh, they didn't even let me do it myself. Am I moving? No. I guess I moved on my own. Very good. Oh, uh, thanks. How do you feel I wouldn't now? do it without you. Can you speak? You told me where it's up and I just got it. What is your name? Where my name? My name's Snake. Can you recall? My name's John, I guess. Is the snake named John? I think it is. What? What is this? My name? Well, it's Oros. My name's Oros. That's Optimus. Oros with the Z at the end. Not Oros. There we go. Birthday. Uh, it's um. It's October 18. Okay. Oh shit, now you guys know my birthday. Good. No! All the information, all the secrets I kept are fucking gone. This is a nice place. This, this reminds. Beginning. Uh, reminds me a little bit of. You've been oh, a fucking movie I've seen. Shit. Or maybe a game. Yes, yes, I know. What's You'd this? Like to know how long. Why I'm is my camera like in the reversed option? Can I change it? Can't even go into options. <laughs> Who the fuck is Nosokoma? I've been in a coma. Nosokoma for nine years. Try not to panic. I'll try. Oh shit. Right. I'm dead. So this game takes place after uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero. How do you feel? I don't remember Ground Zero very well. I remember only the ending where a helicopter blew up and Snake was in inside of a helicopter so I guess he survived and it's went into a coma. Now, let's <laughs> oh shit! And um, yeah. Nurse. And apparently, between Ground Zeroes and this one, Metal Gear Survive will strength, take place because in Ground Zeroes, Mother Base are like a uh, base where we basically started now, every operation, I guess, or something like that. Uh, get attacked and destroyed. So I guess Metal Gear Solid, I mean Metal Gear uh, Survive, will be about the soldiers on the base and how they get to survive on their own. What's this? You spilled something on my x-ray, you fucking idiot. Now it looks like I've been just obliterated with rocks. Obliterated, I like that, that word. Where? 
Maybe those were mine. Was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. Do I have someone thief they shoved it to my ass? Near. Hey, look! The when you kind of close your eyes, my X-ray looks like the peace sign, like Peace Walker. Look at this. Ah, oh, that's my the beautiful, handsome face. Deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI. I don't understand anything you just said. But even if we were Did you? Try, you would Did you understand anything he said? I didn't. What are you doing? Holding my hand? I have no hand. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. However, oh, nurse, please catch my vomit. It's a precious one. It might this have information in it. My upper body. You better look now. Best to understand you situation. fucking fucked up my x-ray. Where's my hand? I know Your x-ray didn't detect in my hand. Look down. It's what on my dick? Did my dick house. fell off? At my hand. Looks like a hand. There's my... No hand. Looks like a... Like a... I don't know, nothing. Try to calm down. Calm down. I like the name of this game because it's calm Phantom down. Pain. It's like the okay. Phantom Pain... I think it's a syndrome. Where someone who lost on limb still feels like there is a limb. It had something to do with the brain part uh, responsible for that limb still exists. So if I would lose my right arm, I could probably like, I don't know, forget about it and then trying to jerk off and be like, oh fuck, I have no arm. And then get really depressed. How would I play games with no arm? Only play games, I mean, only games I could play were fucking Wii games. Or PlayStation Move. Or whatever. Who, wish you would never walk in up. who, like. You like who? Dead, but you're not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. You know who's the worst. Otherwise, I fear you won't character. Alive. In Metal Gear Solid. It's a like at all, world. like just in general, Metal Gear Solid. Who's the worst character? Tell me. Well, I can answer you. It's Jimmy from Metal Gear Solid Project Babel, which was a. Uh, oh, there's me. I'm going I look. To your appearance. Pretty cool. Nice beard. Nice beard and all. However. And he was in the Game Boy Colors uh, edition. I think it was more like a. I think it uh, came out somewhere after the Metal Gear Solid, so it was kind of like... What's this? I oh, am yeah, my f own fucking OC. Oh, this guy looks cool. Like this guy. Um, no, I don't want to choose this guy. Wait, I'll just finish this motherfucker and I'll be back. Uh, there you go. Uh, I made it... I, I tried to make myself at the beginning but then I realized that I can make white hair and I can make him have yellow eyes you cannot really see his eyes but he did, he really does have yellow eyes and also a scar so basically I made Geralt from Witcher so yes this is pretty cool Damn, now I regret I didn't call myself Geralt and maybe this character isn't exactly the same thing as uh, what I did before there we go. I'm Geralt. Very good. Now what? Let's remove this bandage. Very good cosplay. Oh, thanks. I worked weeks on that. Nicely. To tell you the truth, this your your face didn't heal nicely, you ugly ass piece of shit. From those who want you dead. Just kidding. Someone just walked in. I don't today, think it's good. Your name is Ahab. Ahab? That's a it's shitty. Oh. Oh God, it's Hitman. Oh god, Agent 37 came for me. Do you guys even remember a series of uh, stealth games as Sprinter Cell? It was actually kind of good. Oh, those are my friends. Cat and Pilot with no name. I noticed a lot of... Um... This is you. Oh shit. Oh, where's Geralt? 
I, I do I have one of my eyes, but I'm blind on it. Because uh, in Metal Gear Solid 3, Ocelot didn't really shot a uh, snake in the eye. It was that the gases that came out of the revolver when he shot next to my eye made me go blind on one eye. Oh god, she cut his neck. Oh, he have a gun. Give me, give, give me, I wanna, please. Oh, he kicked me, what a dick. Ow, I just wanted a gun. Did it need to be a dick about it? You fucking asshole. Oh shit, what? Oh god. Oh shit. Not yet. The patient in the next bed saw my face. Of course. I recognize your face? No, I didn't. I, I did not. No. I don't know who you are, please leave me alone. I just woke up from nine year coma, you fucking bitch. I wanted to see the future. I wanted to see that the music got bad finally. Because this game is happening in the 80s. What the fuck is going on? Who is this guy? Ow! Fucking ass. Why is the control of the camera reverted? She has a knife! Dude, you better know what you're doing, right? What are you doing? Uh, it doesn't seem like you know what you're doing. Oh shit, that's um... That's uh, easily... How is it called? Oh shit! You know, I was actually uh, trying to learn how to throw knife like this. Uh, I even have like a set of knives just for throwing. They are really shitty because the handle is smaller than uh, your hand, so you couldn't really hold it well if you would try to stab someone or something. So it's like specifically, it's not a kunai, but it's like a little knife that is pretty much only for uh, throwing. And uh, am I dead? Oh no, I'm not, but she seems to be. See you later! Maybe she's the man on fire. No, she's not. What? What's fucking stab her? Why, why do you guys need to throw knives at each other? Just stab someone. Did you know that the burning alive is actually the most painful thing you can experience in life? The second is birth. And I don't know what else, probably electric, getting like getting electrocuted or something. Oh my god, what is this? It's like the opening of Forrest Gump. Okay, have with the fat. No, that wasn't a feather. That was a piece of flower. What, what happened to the woman? The woman? She's dead. We gave her a life. She took the short way down. Who are you? Me? I'm a mummy. I came from the Egypt. I can call you what? Ishmael? I'll just call you mommy. I already noticed that everybody wants me dead. What's this? Oh, don't give me heroin, no! Why? Just because you're addicted doesn't mean I need to be. They know the draw. Oh God! Come on. Hi, Snake. How are you? Let's go. Maybe let's crawl. Can you keep up? Oh fuck you! I'm barely fucking alive. I think my muscles disappeared. I'm pretty sure. Look at my skinny arms. I can say that I'm that I have bigger muscles than Snake. Well, that's not true. God damn it. It's like you pathetic piece of shit don't even know how to walk. Alright, I'm just kidding. Oh, did I mention what I wanted to say? I didn't mention, I didn't end it up what I was saying before. 
I was talking about the worst character in Metal Gear that the uh, Game Boy Color had a really cool Metal Gear uh, Solid. It wasn't a port because, well, you couldn't port a PlayStation game to Game Boy Color, but it was uh, like a like a handheld version, like some kind of like can't really. I don't know how to call it, but it was released on Game Boy only, and it was really cool. And they had a character, Jimmy, who basically was a kid genius, and he made a Metal Gear. And there was also pretty cool bosses characters. I think they called themselves... I don't know what they called themselves. Can't think, really. The first boss was some kind of Australian with a giant boomerang, and he had a pet hawk. I think his name was Hawk. I know the. I think uh, the um, the villain name was Viper. God damn it, Snake! Stop falling up the, the floor. Keep moving. And uh, Jimmy was a fucking bitch because first he was like, "Oh, fucking Snake, piece of shit! Why did you took so long to came to my cell?" And then I tried to rescue him, and I blew up the wrong wall for an accident. And he was like, oh, fucking nice work, genius. <laughs> and then you fucking saved him, and you were like, you can't go with me, it's too dangerous. And he was like, fuck you, Dan, you were supposed to help me. And then you, you don't... What's this? What the fuck is that? Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh snap. Oh damn! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Maybe we should fly away. God damn it! I woke up from a nine-year coma, lost my arm, have no muscles, fucking rock shoved into my skull, and that's what happens. Those are my first minutes after awakening from a coma. Do fucking snake ever get a break? Or does he always just have to fucking... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, is he dead? No, he's not. Oh... Oh god... It's the Raider of the Apocalypse. Making scary ass motherfucking sounds. Oh shit, can I run? Please! Can I? What happened? Um, uh, Mommy Ishmael, what we're supposed to call you? Do you know what the fuck is going on? Are you even real? Is anything real? Nice ass. Oh god, snake, you look like a snail. I should call you... The... Well, he's not solid snake, but... Now, it, did I, do I have a broken arm? Oh, that's just great. My only functional arm and it's broken. Well, I guess I couldn't break the other arm. I mean, I could, but... Not the whole arm, it would be just a little limp, limp that I have. Come on, Snake, don't be a pussy. It's just a broken arm. Keep going, Snake. Kojima, there's a poster. There's a poster with Snake. Snake, you're famous. Everybody knows about you. So I guess it was... Oh my god, I have a broken arm. Am I the only one who gets a little bit disturbed by him just kind of walk, walking around with broken arms? It's actually kind of terrifying. I don't know why. Broken limbs always kind of terrified me. Like if I would, I don't know, be in a fucking abandoned hospital and there was someone following me. I would be scared, right? But I would be shit like twice as scared if he had, I don't know, broken arms and be following me with the fucking broken arms. And making like, not like screams or something like, I'm gonna kill you. But something as if like, some kind of autistic noises. Oh, also another thing. I don't think they changed it in this game. I think they changed it in um, 
Ground Zeroes. They changed the voice actor of Snake. I don't know what's the reason for changing him, but I actually gotta say that I like this one more. Because the other one was like... Super badass and shit. And this one's more like, I don't know, maybe Snake's a real fucking person. And he doesn't always talk like, Let's go. We gotta find Metal Gear, god damn it. Or something like that. Can I, can I go? Oh, there we go. Damn it, camera control. Can I this way, huh? change it? I don't like it. Okay. What are you telling me? You know it's cool that, that I have like a... That I have like a bandage on my head, which looks like the bandana I've always been wearing. But it's a bandage. Alright, now this reminds me a little bit of the gameplay. Why is the camera f like that? I cannot go into options. Can't do anything. Maybe it'll change itself when I'm, uh... I'll start actual game. Oh god, Ishramel, what happened to you? Hey, that's not him. Then where did he go? With this good man. I'm pretty sure he will. Oh shit, oh, alright, that's, that's Ishmael. That's a mummy guy. You know what, like, we, it really often happens, what up, bro, it often happens in video games that, um, like the introduction of enemy, have him doing something awful. You know, I get it, it's supposed to show how fucking bad the evil ones are, unless you wanna do some kind of story where you aren't sure who's the bad, oh god, is he looking straight at me? I was, I'm pretty sure he can see me. Oh, don't touch my little body, please don't, I don't wanna die. And uh, I was talking uh, that maybe, that maybe an introduction of a villain who doesn't do bad things, but instead he like, cares about certain people, maybe not all the people, maybe he, for example, like in Borderlands, um, Handsome Jack was introduced. Uh, in the second game, and the first thing he did in the beginning, he called himself a hero and said you're the bandit, right? Uh, can I move and don't look at this guy? I don't care. What happened? Help me. No! I don't wanna die. Fuck you! I ain't gonna help you. Oh god, now this guy knows he grabbed onto me. Maybe he doesn't. See you later, buddy! Have a fun time! Oh, I thought you guys would have a fun time. Oh god, he's coming for me! Run, snake! Run, you motherfucker! And he was introduced, saying that he's a hero, and you're the villain. And what he basically tried to accomplish in the whole game, is to clear Pandora out of bandits, which included the main characters which you gotta admit that they are getting paid for killing people they are mass murderers they don't have very colorful backstories like they usually involve killing a lot of people I mean Jack backstory also involved killing a lot of people but at least he didn't do it just to get paid he do it to a liberation of a planet from bandits don't get caught no search he basically had a good intention. Oh yeah, I was talking before how this game have a really cool... Oh, snap a doodly doo! Shit. Sorry. Um, how this game have a pretty cool... Don't you die on me. Shut up. Ahab. Ahab. Ahab? Why do you call me Ahab? It's like the f stupidest name I ever heard. No offense to any Ahabs watching this video. And, uh, what was I talking about? I had the cutscenes. They don't have cuts like to another scene. Instead of cuts, they have like camera actually moving and following every scene. So it's it is as if you. What am I supposed to do? Run somewhere? I'm moving. Shut up. 
Oh god, I can see someone. Let's do this. Where the fuck are these people anyway? Run, snake, run. And they have pretty cool... Like, if you would try to record a video, and instead of like... If you... I don't know, say, alright, I'll show you this now, and then you would come back to the video already showing this. Well, this game have more like... It'll just like rotate, and you will already have this. I don't know, it's like kinda... It's pretty cool. Also, I don't know, like, you can see it here. It doesn't like... When one character, sh when they try to show character reactions, they just cut to their camera showing their face. It's like there's only one camera, and it's just moving around showing all these different angles. So it's pretty cool. I guess we go down, we follow Ishramel. Alright, mommy dude, let's run the fuck away, because I can hear bad sounds coming from up there. Oh, hello. Oh god, there's so many of them, I'm scared. What, am I supposed to go down? Ow! Wait, I am? But what about these people there? Shh! Oh, I see. There! Dude, there! Go there! I'm a Grigola. Come on! And also the cutscenes have really a lot of these um, intense, I would say like heavy lighting effects, which, which like uh, maybe you cannot see exactly right here. Also the camera seems to be like, like if there is a cameraman always following me in the cutscenes and the camera shakes in the cutscenes, that's pretty cool too. Kind of move, move your fucking ass. Ishmael, what are you looking at? Why did everybody get a coat with me? Hey, fuck you, bitch. I need to meet up with Ishmael and his ass. Also, I, I mean, I probably a lot of you know. But maybe if some of you don't know that this is the last game uh, directed by Hideo Kojima. But I thought, well, Portable Ops and Project Babel weren't directed by Hideo Kojima because they weren't like the main star. I think they weren't even canon. So that, that that gives me a little bit of hope. Like maybe because they fired Hideo Kojima doesn't mean that uh, the other writers for Metal Gear, I don't know, unless they fired all the fucking writers, I wouldn't be surprised. But if they didn't, then that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not cool that they have fired Hideo Kojima. Like, they're fucking... The only reason they probably... Well, what else Konami have? They have fucking Silent Hill. Oh, Snake. Dude, don't crawl backwards. Fucking camera pissing me off. Um... So I was hoping, what if, like, the future installments were just directed by different people? It doesn't mean... That uh, they will do a bad job at it. They might do a good what? They might do decently good. Oh, they killed him. Um, poor bastard. What is the reason for them to actually come in like this and just start killing everybody? Also, you cannot play as your avatar, like, right away. I don't get what, what that's about. Like, you can change your characters in-game. For example, you don't need to play the... You don't need to play through the whole game of Snake. Only, like, the cutscenes in the beginning. But when you unlock... Uh, I think you, when you unlock an ability to play as other characters, like, for example, the soldiers that you took from missions, then they have bonus stats and stuff. They might actually be even better than than Snake himself, which is pretty. Oh god, which is pretty funny. You know, I actually had a nightmare one day when I was like shoved into a, like a toy. Like you know how action figures and like toys are packaged. It's like they are put into this box and then air from the box is sucked out. 
so the box is kind of like filling to like uh, only like take less space and I had a nightmare when I was like put in a box like this and the air started to be like taken away so like the box just kind of strapped around my body and was fucking actually kind of scary oh, I can see from L and this motherfucker these two motherfuckers can I move? I don't want to get out of this stupid hospital it's stupid anything? negative he came in here keep looking oh those guys are saying well, they're speaking English which gives me a clue that they might be from an English speaking country wait what? where are we going? I can't even move oh nice nice shoes why didn't I get any shoes? I only have stupid pants oh god I killed everybody there nice booty you have there I'm crawling already, alright? I think it actually, this game have a lot of mechanics that aren't told to you, oh... Uh, who's, why? What did I do wrong? Don't you die on me. Uh, the, they, they don't tell you them like... Like this, like, sometimes they ju just don't tell you these mechanics. Like one of the mechanics I actually found by an accident was that you can actually finish mission and get out of the oh god they get out of the a uh, mission area by just simply uh, like jumping on a crate and then using the balloon to extract the crate with materials inside but you can grab onto the crate and then just go away with it so you can like exit mission way faster if you don't wanna run up all the way to the helicopter zone Wait, should I like stop moving? Cause when I moved last time, I got shot by these motherfuckers that are there. Snake, what did he fucking said? Stop moving! You could cover yourself in blood, you know. You. You don't even look dead, you're holding yourself on your arms. It's obvious that you're alive. You don't have any bullet holes in you. You better quickly shoot yourself or they won't believe you. That's a good strategy. Is this guy having a rocket launcher? Does this guy have a rocket launcher? Why does he have a rocket launcher? I want a rocket launcher. Oh yeah, also when I... You could see that on the gameplay and such episode. Episode 7. When I played Metal Gear Solid. You could see that my approach to the game was more extracting everything I fucking can. Including all the soldiers. So I didn't kill soldiers. I instead extracted them and like tranquilized them and shit. And when I first watched this cutscene I thought it's weird that he pissed himself. But when you when you die, you just take a shit and piss yourself. So that sucks. I guess I guess he, that's a strategy, all right. Now you need to piss yourself, snake, or else you're fucking dead. Stop moving your head. I think it's obvious that you're alive. They can see you move, fucking snake. What are you doing? Oh shit, this thing again. Also this thing and uh, these soldiers aren't on the same side, I thought they are. Uh, what was I talking about before? I was talking about the... Damn it, what did I talked about before I started talking about pissing? Oh yeah, that I uh, had a more like a peaceful approach to the enemies. I try to like take them all um, to my base and recruit all of them. But I decided this time I'll kind of change it and maybe instead of... Like I won't change the way I play, but instead of like... Uh, like taking uh, all the soldiers to my base, I'll just kill them. I, I'll try to... Like, one of the mechanics in this game that isn't told to you are the demon points. 
So when you do bad things like kill people, animals, just just basically fucking chaos, then the horn on your head will grow and that uh, shows you how how fucking evil you are. And um, and I will try to get like like I'll try to just kill people instead of being like nice and trying to help them and shit because that only takes m longer helping people and shit. But, like, for example, you could easily get spotted by trying to extract a soldier and, like, the balloon will go up and then someone will be like, Oh shit, a balloon! And then he will call fucking, like, CP or some shit and he will be like, I saw someone get pulled up by a balloon, I think it might be some enemy in the base. And also, um, it might be a little bit, like, different kind of challenge for me because, um... Killing people means that I would have like take their bodies and hide them around and shit. So maybe that will actually take even longer. But we'll see. I don't know how that goes. Maybe I'll just play like I did before. What the fuck is this guy on fire? Now I have a broken leg. What is that beeping noise? But well, I'll sure kill him. The missiles didn't. So why would that pistol do? He just fucking takes it. He takes it like he's no fucking... It's like no big deal. Also, I wanted to say something else. About the playstyle. Like, I will probably use the similar weapons. Like, I'll try not to like, run into base and just blow the shit out of it. But I'll try to still be stealthy and just basically try and kill as much people as I can. So I guess that means that I will have less uh, soldiers recruited for the base. Oh god. That's fine. I'm fine. I don't need shit. What's this on my face? Ah, what a way to start a day, isn't it? Snake. Fucking John. Fucking big boss. Fucking... Uh, naked snake. Venom Snake, Punished Snake, what is his name anyway? You know what I noticed that might be actually the... Um, the thing that uh, has the Metal Gear Solid like story the most com being really complex because the story of Metal Gear is really fucking crazy. Oh, fuck, don't push me. Like if you would try and understand it you would have to spend a while. It's not like fucking, I don't know, a platformer where it's like he kidnapped the princess, go get her! It's like... The philosophers have money and now the r evil Russians want it back and then you have to go into the jungle, fight undead people, monsters, be controlling assholes and also your mentor and some shit like that. But she wasn't really evil. It was all staged and stuff like that. It's really fucking complicated. And the thing I noticed that, um... Might be... Might be the reason? Well, probably not, but could possibly have something to do with the with the game being really complicated. Is that I have a gun? Cool. Well, I'm not gonna do shit to this guy anyway. I I know. Attack button. No shit. Ah. Can I please? Can I? No, I can't. It, ah, damn it, guys. Why did you change my controls like this? See? Ah, fuck. Can't aim. I'm pretty good, thanks. Take this guy out, dude. I'm supposed to do that? Ah, come on. And, um, the thing that maybe makes the plot more complicated is that a lot of characters, like pretty much, I don't know how many, maybe not like a lot of characters, but a, most characters have, oh, I have a thing, can I, can I grab it? I want this one. Or maybe I not, I don't, this one have more ammo. Um, the thing is that a lot of characters 
but appear in one game, they still have something to do with the other game and they are like, sometimes they change their name, they are working undercover and it's like, this character, I don't know, and the next installment it's this character, but then you find out it's not this guy, but it's actually the guy from the other installment and he's back, but uh, he fucking put a mask on or some shit. Like, I don't even know. I would probably be really fucking hard to explain the plot of Metal Gear. I don't even know it. I mean, I kind of know a little bit. I kind of get... Like, I, I think I, I, I always understand more, like, um... I always understand more, like, characters of... I mean, stories of characters instead of the whole plot of the universe what every character could... What the fuck, he did Max Payne? Would he disappear or some shit? Fucking douchebag disappeared. Can I... Ah, fuck. I noticed that a lot of uh, other Let's Players I have on... in my subscriptions... I uh, also started playing this game. Well, it's no surprise this game is fucking amazing. I gotta say this is... Oh, fuck. I like how the game slows down when you get spotted. Sometimes you can use it to your advantage and you can actually get like... You can get spotted on purpose just to... Score a good headshot. So it's pretty cool. I see another person. I don't even have anything to mark these enemies, so how do I do that? Oh, you s fucked up my headshot account. I could well, have like a seventh headshot. You asshole. Can I run away now? Oh, there he is. He just kind of like appeared from the bottom like... Like, like I don't know, he came from a warp pipe or something like that. Now oh, you're just gonna flee without me. Fucking mommy asshole. Ah shit, it moves. Oh, there was the helicopter. That the uh, guy on fire took down before. What's this fucking hell or fucking hospital? Are you supposed to get better here or... I don't know, work for your... For your sins or some shit. Also, this is Psychomantis. Just in case you did, you thought, oh, this guy looks like Psychomantis as a kid. It is Psychomantis. Now I don't. Now I understand why he shaved his head. Because having hair like this is sh it's shitty. Oh, he closed my only way of exiting the fucking place. Oh crap. Oh shit. You know, camera angles in this game, you could write a book about them. Like specific camera angles, like this one where they like zoomed in on the mask of the guy just to show you the the reflection that there is, man on fire going here. I think he had a cape before, he had a outfit. Now he's like, now his cape is like gone. Also, he has spikes in his head, that's pretty fucked up. And, um... Like before, when the doctor was still alive and I was just in my bed, I noticed when, when this lady walked in, they gave you the angle, like, from your bed, you looked at the doctor, and the doctor moved his arm, and you could see someone walking in. And you could see the boots, they were like, uh, military boots, so you would assume it's a soldier or some shit. I don't know, I liked it. The camera angles in this game is... Something great. It's amazing. I love it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Run away. Snake. Snake run. There is no exit. I'm just gonna walk up to me like this. Is there anything? Oh shit. Oh crap. What is going on? Oh the tank. 
Is he gonna kill? I bet he won't kill the man on fire. Because he seems to be pretty much invincible. Why is he invincible? I don't know. We all wait. Wait, I already guessed that the kid has something to do with the man on fire. And also, because it's Psycho Mantis, I guess he can control people. All Metal Gear Solid is like... On the other hand, you have something that, like a stealth game. You have a lot of mechanics and like... It's really in-depth and it's just really realistic and really, really fucking good. But on the other hand, you have a story with characters being ghosts and firebenders, human torches and shit like that, and it's just fucking really weird and... Oh god, I was actually kind of fucked up. A story that is completely fucked up. Even Snakefoot is like, oh shit, I'm out of here. Now I like stories that are complicated, but not like... Like this story, story of Metal Gear is like it is complicated, but it's not stupid. It like everything makes sense. I mean, well, there are some things that I don't think they make sense. Like I don't know, I can't really think of anything. Like why didn't Man on Fire kill Snake like every other soldier? That that's an that's fucking black. I don't know some shit they fucked up. The tank looks like it's trying to fuck the man on fire, like it's trying to hump him, the little dog. Oh shit. Well look at the bright side, Snake. You at least didn't have to pay for anything. Because... Well I guess you paid with your fucking hand, and your mental state, and your eye, well not your eye, and your... Skull and Metal Gear Solid. When you at the end, uh, when you meet the Big Boss, he, he doesn't have anything shoved into his fucking face. So why does he have now? Oh God, wait! I don't, I won't do jack shit to this guy. He's invincible. And now I'm out of ammo. Great. Help! Motherfucker! Oh. Oh, it's Mommy Ishramel. Thanks for helping me. Get in! Now oh, it is Britain. It's even have a wheel on the other side of the truck. God damn it, Snake! You just cannot have a normal day in your life. You're either fighting Metal Gear, fucking men, people on fire, psycho kids, ghosts. Monkey from Ape Escape. And now this shit. Oh god, those were just innocent people. Well, fuck it, I guess. Oh god, you could at least look at the road. We don't want to die just by a car accident. We didn't survive all of that shit just to die like this. Imagine having a badass hero like Snake. Dying by slipping under shower or something. Oh god, where did he came from? That would be really stupid. Oh god, Snake. I also pretty cool that you can move the camera and the missions. I mean the cutscenes. Pretty cool. Like I remember in the third Metal Gear Solid, you could even like switch to first person, so you could see the cutscenes from the first. Oh. Oh, Israel dead. Why is he dead? He was alive all this time and now he's dead. God damn it, Snake. Also, did you know that Snake, the reason Snake cannot have kids is because he took a... He once uh, was doing a mission, which included him being really close to radioactive... Uh, reactor or some shit like that which made him have like uh, been able to have kids kids so that's 
That's a shame. Shame he will never, ever have fucking kids. Right? I'm still alive? Oh, Israel's gone. Where did he go? I feel like Israel is something... Like, he's way more important than it seems. Like, I bet he... Oh, God. That was... Well, I guess... He could expect that. He's like... Like, why did he appear? Who was he? How did he get to the hospital? What happened to his face? He had a face covered all the time. So I bet there was an important... Like, he was important to the story. It wasn't just like, oh, there's the guy who's gonna help you. He's gonna die ten minutes later. Who cares? The, the kid is fucked up. It's probably weird as shit in this game. Alright, I'm wrong. This is the weirdest shit in this game. What the fuck happened? A giant fire whale? That's, uh, fucking, what is this? Okay, that's fine. I guess. That's cool and all. I can handle this shit. Yes, yeah, Snake, run away. Just quickly. Who are you? Who's this? Could it be? Who are you? An angel? My guardian angel, I love you. You know what I thought? If I would ever get, like, well, I would probably uh, get really old, like, I don't know, 70, year, 70 years old or some shit. Oh, I have a shotgun, cool. And, and probably 7, well, the bottom is 17, like, I don't know. Well, let's assume 50 years late, uh, like, to the future. Everybody will probably, for, well, most of the people, new people, new gamers, like there will be new franchises and shit, so a lot of people will forget that something like Metal Gear ever existed, so what if I was like 70 years old, and I would just start dressing up as Revolver Ocelot, I would like try and grow longer hair, a mustache, a really long cape, and I would be just Revolver Ocelot all the way. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, I don't know, maybe 10 years later... Who, me? What are you talking about? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if 10 years later, there will be some kind of, oh shit, the big reboot of Metal Gear is fucking back! Or something like, the spiritual successor of Metal Gear, it's called... Solid Gear Metal. I mean, if Banjo Kazooie is dead and people work in uh, that used to work in Rare and to make a new game just so people would finally have Banjo Kazooie but under a different name, then why wouldn't this happen to Metal Gear one day? Oh shit! Why is this guy fucking following us? Why does he have a fire horse suddenly? He oh my god! What is going on? Do I need to shoot him? I don't even do jack shit to this guy. And also, did you hit to come with a... Sorry, I didn't shot him. Did I fail? Why did you came here with a, on a horse? You could come here with anything else, but you just came on a horse? Ocelot, are you insane? Oh, shit. Can I pause the... Can I pause it? I can't. My god, it doesn't... Maybe Ocelot was Bishramel. Yeah, that's Ocelot, I forgot. It's Revolver... Not... Well, it's not Revolver yet, I think. I think he started calling himself, like, Revolver Ocelot. Later? Unless maybe not? I don't know. I'll still call him Ocelot. S 
S rank. We got an S rank. For shithead. Nicely done. We beat the mission. But ain't this is not the end because there's still a cutscene. I'm not just gonna finish the video here. Let's get to I don't know, let's fucking f escape from the stupid place. I mean, we won't probably play anymore, we'll just walk around and shit. No, we won't even get to walk around, we'll just watch the cutscene. Can I pause it finally? No, I can't. Oh, fuck off. How do you fight this? You can just fly and teleport and do random bullshit. Like this. Come on. Um... Also, you, you might want to be uh, a little bit terrified, I don't know. A little bit. Written by Hideo Kojima. Alright. See, there's like other writers for this game. So Hideo didn't work alone. He didn't just alone. Like, he didn't make it, like, single-handed. So what if other people will still be able to make some... Well, I guess... They were supposed to make this game the last oh, one. So yeah, you're boss a lot. Too, First was to get you out of that hospital. Cool. Was to rescue the man himself. Wait, what? You remember? Your partner nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years ago, oh, yeah, your Kaz. came under attack by Cypher. What happened to Kaz? Dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. Fucking the Cypher. Wants you dead. Fucking Major Tom. Like in that Davy, David Bowie song, I think. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's and what will you do? Sense. Fucking ride horses like a cowboy? Where's your hat, Mr. Cowboy? Hmm, what kind of fucking cowboy are you? With no hat. Also, you can actually play as Ocelot. First we need to but save you can only play it as Ocelot during the. You can only play as him during the. What? You can't keep up with world affairs and a coma? Infiltrary of other players' bases. Because there's like. You have this base and other people can attack it and shit. Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller Fucking Muslims. We're going to Afghanistan. Cool. The Reds 40th Army. This might Troops be the first Metal Gear Solid game with kind of an open world. Like, set off near it's not like pretty big yesterday. and shit. Well, it's kind of now, decently days, big. The and there are like two worlds. You they'll either go to... Um... You go to fucking... God damn it. Afghanistan. And Africa. I, I gotta say, Afghanistan is way cooler than Africa. Africa is like fucking whatever. Afghanistan's cool. It's like deserts and shit. Also, for some reason, snakes almost never talks. He just kind of stays shut. Well, there's our ride. Where? A pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Our seven days to Port Kasim, another three over land. So we won't have much time once we're there. Can we go? Don't take too long getting used to your new self. I wanna get Man. my fucking hand back. I have no fucking hand. Art, art director Joey Shinkawa. Or maybe it's Shinkawa? I don't know. Hideo Kojima. Again, Hideo Kojima for the seventh time. I guess if I make the fucking awesome game like this, I would just be. I would fucking call it like Orosh's game. I wouldn't even give it a title, I would just call it my game. Chapter 1 Revenge. Oh, this is going to be like Indiana Jones. Kind of like traveling, you know, like the map and yeah, it's kind of like that. 
pretty cool. How long it should take us, he said? Nine, uh, seven days or some shit. Oh, cool. He's, we're gonna take heroin together. Cool. Best friends. Red Sea. Looks more blue to me. Oh, he has rev... I cannot even pick up bullets with my stupid spatula hand. How am I gonna pick shit up with this? Oh, well, thanks. That's better. Why does this have only three fingers, though? I mean, four fingers. Wait, seriously, I only have four fingers. Why? I didn't need it. another one? I mean, what, what the fuck do you need the pinky finger for? Nothing. Ah, oh, my fucking walk, man. Awesome. You know, for a game that's set in the 80s, it's super futuristic, I gotta say. Like, is it, it's, it's supposed to, like, Metal Gear is supposed to be, like, in our actual world. Like, but then why does, um... A lot of fucking things are so advanced. Flames, they got flames. Vehicles can now be customized? Wait a minute, what? No, I deleted my old save file, so if I start this one, I won't have anything from the other one. So why can I customize vehicles? Could I always customize vehicles, but I just didn't know? Because maybe that's what it is. Oh yeah, you need to unlock... Uh, gun customization is unlockable. Not the... Fucking... Uh, not the... Uh, vehicles. It's guns you customize. That you need to. I think you need to look for like gunsmiths. And I think you need to find three of them. Or maybe four. I don't know. Maybe five. Where are we going? Why is it Sandstorm? Sandstorm in this game are pretty cool actually because if they are. If there's like going to be a sandstorm. You can just immediately go and start uh, running around shooting everybody. That's pretty cool. Weather will clear shortly. Cool. Storms passing. I really wanted to actually buy um, the glasses that Ocelot have, and I looked them up, and guess how much they cost? Well, these exact ones that Ocelot had have a uh, cost cost like around uh, two hundred dollars unless I just didn't found a good good deal on them that might be possible um, but you can buy like I only I like really fucking like the uh, the thing on the side of them the skulls I don't fucking wanna fight skulls but you can buy these like side, um, these things on the side of the glasses separately and just put on your glasses. So, yeah, but still pretty fucking cool. Nine years on ice. Solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Why is also gray? He's like kind of young in this game. And like Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4, he's really old there, but. Why is he so old? He like he doesn't look old. He looks like around thirty, but his fucking hairs are gray. I guess I, I have gray hairs too. Not like all the way, but I have like a gray spot on my top of my head. Okay. Ah oh, shit! Everything's coming back to me. This wait. Can I? Can't even turn it on now. Okay. There he is. Found him. I'll go there. Where am I there? I am here. I'll go there. Got your binoculars, or should I say, in scope? Oh. See the village straight ahead. This right. flashing thing. The village. If you see something through the binoculars, and you need. Is that a sniper? Is this supposed to be a sniper? I'll tell you anything I can about. Um. That's Villa Village. 
the Violo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few okay. days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewandehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Well, like there? Okay, I'll... On this Good. thing? Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. Is that the thing I was supposed to look at? It had a weird flashing light, so I assume. See, these glasses, I really fucking like them. I wanted to buy them, but they are fucking expensive as shit. And I think they were actually called Ocelots. Oh shit, the Soviets! Not the Soviets. With those binoculars as you plan your next move. I like the jacket How also I'd have, but I don't like this thing around his shoulder. I don't know. If it doesn't if it didn't have that I would be way cooler. But yeah, we'll never get to wear it. Only Ocelot gets to be looking fucking cool as shit in this game. We are a fucking military guy. Ocelot's the cowboy, and Kaz is a motherfucking whiny ass fucking asshole. Oh, now I have my five fingers. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Okay, I see. Wait, aren't you Russian? Aren't you a Ra Wait, oh no, he was a double agent or some shit. Yeah, I remember Ocelot. Also, Ocelot mom is, uh... Ocelot parents. Her, his mom was, uh, actually boss. Which was, uh, Snake's mentor. And his father was the Sorrow. One of the bosses in Metal Gear Solid 3. I don't know, it never got like, it never had anything to do with the story, he never was like, Oh, you killed my mom, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you now. Just kind of, I don't know, didn't care about it, I guess. Yeah, I get it, it's directed by Hideo Kojima. Where did Ocelot went? Where is he? Disappeared? Okay, we'll rescue Kazura Miller. Fucking Benedict Miller. His name is Benedict, I think. We'll rescue this motherfucker in the in the next episode. So, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.